to part one of the Valley Fever Survivor educational film series. For decades, too many in the media and even in public health have not looked at the whole picture of Valley Fever. It has been a history of complacency, apathy, and silence. Due to the lack of accurate information and sometimes just plain misinformation, the general public can't possibly know what's going on. It's a naturally occurring biohazard that can kill or debilitate you if you breathe. That's important. My hardest job is convincing people that valley fever is as serious as it truly is. Most people wouldn't think a mycology textbook could say more about current events than a daily newspaper. But when it comes to this deadly epidemic, they'd be wrong. When most people hear the word fungus, they usually think of an annoyance like athlete's foot. They imagine they can take a pill or salve to get rid of a fungal infection and go on about their lives. Unfortunately, that is far from reality with valley fever in the human or even animal body. Cassidioitis replicates at such an alarming rate that it is considered the most virulent fungal parasite known to man. These microscopic spores are invisible to the naked eye and the same size as the anthrax spore. Fifteen trillion spores can fit into a cubic inch and it takes only one spore for a potentially lethal infection. Further, Cassidioitis is regulated along with anthrax and other biological weapons. It is a select agent in the Anti-Terrorism and Effective Death Penalty Act of 1996 and the Public Health Security and Bioterrorism Preparedness and Response Act of 2002. The select agent list is used in anti-terrorism legislation and is reserved for toxins and biological agents that have the potential to pose a severe threat to public health and safety. No other fungus is regulated so heavily. Valley fever is so dangerous that the CDC, the DHS, and NIH tell scientists culturing it in a laboratory to use biosafety level 3 protocols and equipment. That's just one step below the maximum safety precautions. Level 4 is reserved for the infamous hemorrhagic fever virus Ebola and other diseases that are capable of causing biological catastrophes. In Arizona, California, and other endemic areas, the air doesn't come from a biosafety level 3 lab. It comes from the outdoors. With this fungal parasite, you should forget whatever you have heard about any other type of fungus, and even what you thought you knew about valley fever. This is an incurable disease, and once you inhale a spore, you have it for life. The spores that cause valley fever are regulated as biological weapons. Hundreds of thousands of people are infected with valley fever annually. The only difference between the ongoing valley fever epidemic and a terrorist attack is that the winds, constructions, cars, and leaf blowers don't intend to be mass murderers when they spread these spores into the air. We need to alert everyone, nationally and internationally, about the bioterrorist threat that grows in our own backyard. Stay tuned for many more videos in this series.